Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you three possible ways to fix the problem of laptop or desktop refusing to enter BIOS even though you are pressing the required BIOS key as fast as possible after pressing the power button. As you can see with these laptops, it doesn't matter how fast I try to press the required BIOS keys, they ignore the keystrokes and boot straight into Windows. This happens a lot these days, especially as SSDs are fast replacing traditional mechanical hard drives, but that's not the only reason for this problem. Looking at it from the manufacturer's perspective, startup times are very crucial when benchmarking since this is the first impression the customers get. You hear people talk about 15 seconds, 10 seconds, or even 7 seconds boot time. As such, they don't want to leave as much time between the BIOS and the Windows boot up since most users rarely want to make any changes in the BIOS, which makes some common sense. Instead, they have transferred some controls to Windows to allow you change your settings to give you more time to get into BIOS. And that is one of the solutions we'll be covering in this tutorial, along with two other suggestions that can help with this problem. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first let's get the worst scenario out of the way, which is pressing the wrong key trying to get into BIOS. If you are not pressing the right BIOS key, then obviously none of the suggestions in this tutorial will work for you. So if you are not sure of the right BIOS key for your computer, a simple Google search might be all you need. Searching BIOS key for your PC model should give you a quick result of the key or combination of keys you need to press to get into your BIOS. Unfortunately, there is no common standard that works for all computers. I've also made a video on this. I'll leave the link down in the description so you can check it out if you need more help figuring out your BIOS key. With that out of the way, the first method which I highly recommend before trying out the other two is to turn off the fast startup function from your power options. If you do not have a running Windows on your PC, I suggest you get a temporary disk with running Windows for this process. Here from the start menu, click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. On this settings page, click on system. Here, click on power and sleep. Then down here under related settings, click on additional power settings. Now you should have the power options window pop up. Here, click on choose what the power buttons do. As you can see, the option to turn fast startup on or off is grayed out. To activate that, click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Now you should see this activate immediately. Then uncheck the box right here to turn off the fast startup. Then save changes to complete the process. Afterwards, shut down your PC and try to boot into BIOS again and see if that works for you. Now I tried this solution on three different laptops from three different manufacturers and it worked perfectly on all three. Now these three laptops are all running SSDs so they are booting up a lot faster than they would if they were running on mechanical hard drives. But that notwithstanding, with this solution I was able to get into their BIOS. So you should definitely start up with this suggestion. Now if for some reason this first suggestion didn't work for you, then you should consider increasing your startup delay by forcing Windows to go into some kind of rescue mode before startup. To do that, while you have your Windows already running, press and hold down the power button for about 5, 6 or 10 seconds until you observe an instant shutdown of your PC. Then power it on again and try pressing the required BIOS key to see if it boots into BIOS. You can try this two or three times if it fails in the first trial. By default, Windows tend to experience some startup delay after such abrupt shutdown. This delay can add to the time you have to try to boot into BIOS, hence increasing your chances of actually getting into the BIOS during startup. Now if this also fails, then try combining it with the first suggestion, possibly that gives you even more time to get into your BIOS. Now if both approaches fail, the third approach which is kind of last resort would be to take out your CMOS battery for some time in order to allow the BIOS reset its memory and settings. 
Sometimes the problem could be coming from the BIOS itself being unreachable due to some misconfigurations. As such, removing the battery and waiting for a minute or two before returning it back can reset the BIOS to default and allow you to access it during startup. This can be more trivial in some computers than others. On laptops, you should find the CMOS battery somewhere on the motherboard or attached with some tiny cables. In any case, remove the battery, wait for about 3 minutes, return the battery, couple back your laptop and then try to boot into BIOS again. Now the same goes for desktop CPUs. For more recent CPUs, you might need to check deeper to find where your CMOS battery is located. And that's part of the reasons why this is a last resort in my opinion. But in a situation where the initial two suggestions fail, then this could be the way to go. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.